Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the fourth part of my Euro 2020 jersey review. Today we look at the group of death F. Yes, fourth video and we go to F. You know, I'm doing this because Ukraine still has not, I had not really had a good look at the current Ukraine jersey. So we're gonna do group C last and then we'll move around. Um, I was almost about to wear a France jersey for, for this one. Then I realized A, I have been wearing already twice blue jerseys and for the next video I probably also will wear a blue jersey quite likely so now nah, we need to do something diff different and I remember yeah I actually have a jersey here that I will be reviewing in Hungary and it's not only red but it's probably also my channel debut for this jersey and spoiler alert I'm actually not disliking this one a lot this is another group, very much Nike versus Adidas, and in many ways we have the two big names for, at least within Euro Europe, we have France and Germany in there. The two teams where I think uh, Adidas and Nike put the best efforts usually in there. And we're gonna start like uh, in the seeding, the top seed in this group was a little bit surprising, I have to say. Germany, ahead of France, then Portugal, and then we'll finish with Hungary, the big outsider in this group. So yeah, let's go straight over to Germany and the Germany home jersey takes a really nice fresh new take on uh, the classic white shirt. Of course we have German flag on there as Adidas very often does and this time we have it on the sleeve cuffs. However, why do we have different widths? Why cannot we? I mean, yes, bold sleeve cuffs, really nice, but why can't we make it uh, equal size in a way? That looks a little bit odd and seems like the flag is a little bit of an afterthought on this jersey that is otherwise really characterized by the horizontal uh, br thin brush strokes. And I have to say, I, although my first thought was a uh, pajama, I don't, I really did not dislike it. I, it actually looks fresh. It fits, it has a certain youthfulness to it. And I really like that, you know, take it off and you uh, take these stripes off and you probably have a classic Germany home jersey, especially with the crew neck collar. Um, but with them, it, it puts a new twist on it. Yes, are the side stripes in black a little bit then weird? Probably. Yes, uh, does it look weird when on the back side suddenly the stripes become vertical? Yeah, that looks odd and it's also due to the template. Um, but other than that, when I look, look in the front, I, I liked it almost instantly. I want to give Adidas some credit. I'm more or less down on Adidas uh, these days. I think most of the time they are not trying. But here they have been doing something interesting. And I'm gonna stick with Tony Cross here, eight stars. I, I, I do like this one. It looks off kilter, agreed, but it is a really interesting take on a shirt that rarely excites me. A Germany shirt is not often exciting. Here, I think this is pretty nice, at least as Germany home jersey. A lot of talk is about this away jersey, the blackout jersey. And like with the Denmark jersey, I don't get it. Why are you hiding away everything? Also, why are you using black as a color for Germany? Yes, it's a national color, but there's so much history that's not so nice associated with the color black. And I mean, it immediately Darth Vader, Stormtroopers, I mean, Stormtroopers are white, but you know, that's image comes into mind and that image comes right from a German period in history that we rather don't want to talk about anymore. So from that reason I already don't get it. Uh, and I really, really, really do not get why, I mean I'm all for hiding away the commercial logos, but why hide away the crest? Why hide away the fact that you had four stars? And then uh, to top it off, yes, uh, we have the sleeve cuffs that actually looks, uh, gives it a little bit of color, color there, makes it look actually nice. But then the last, uh, the, the most baffling decision is why do we use no white numbers on this one? That completely destroys the look of the blackout jersey. Would you have gotten with golden or even better with red? I think you might be onto something here, but this white completely destroys that look. Um, as I said, I do not get the idea of the blackout jersey. I do not. Maybe I'm too old or, or, or whatever. I just don't know. I mean, why have a logo there and not there? It's just something I do not get. 
uh, and I'm not looking at. I mean, honestly, when this was released, I, everyone was for body was like, ah, yeah, may, maybe maybe no, I'm not gonna get this one. I'm not. It's and then with nah, I'm not. <laughs> as you can say, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm gonna give this the same as the Denmark red out dress, uh, red out dress, <laughs> red out jersey. Uh, dress is actually what we use in Aust Austria, say, uh, for a kit. So yeah, four stars. I don't get it. I don't. You might disagree with me, but you know, you might also disagree with me on the next jersey, which is hanging up there. Uh, in this group, I have two jer uh, jerseys. I think that this is one of the best France jerseys ever. At least for Nike. Uh, it is my favorite jersey released. Uh, I call it my fav favorite jersey from 2020. I have a video, video on it. I explain a little bit more there. This was a jersey that... Um, I heard already in Britain, they want to kind of make a reference to the 84 look, but I think they achieved more here. First of all, I am so glad that Nike finally got around to say, yeah, let's put some red on a Frost jersey again. Boom! It looks French again. Yes, I know that uh, Adidas for the longest of times uh, didn't put that much red on it. And I think it was only in 84. And then this, uh, when, 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 when they really started, I mean, there was pinstripes and, and, and so. Um, but still, I think a little bit of red on a French jersey, great. Uh, we can always discuss, should a French jersey be navy or more royal blue? I personally would like royal blue more, but navy blue, there are two types of, of uh, the French flag. One with royal blue, one with navy, navy blue. So I get it. Perfect. I think uh, we are now in navy blue. They became world champions in navy, navy blue. Fine. I take it. Navy blue is, is great and I think it fits fine with France. So that base, already super. But then... Basically, everything that Nike ever did is in there, and every time that France won something is in there. This, of course, the red um, stripe, 2000. Having the other ones down, down there is definitely a little bit of 1984 and 1998 in there. Although not in white, it's in, light, it's in the lighter... It's not entirely a royal, a royal blue. When, when I look at the jersey up there, it's not as uh, royal, royal blue as it might appear here. But what's even more <laughs> is that it takes the whole, um, you know, well, the, the away churches, it was released in two, 2011, or that was supposed, it was almost too French to me, and we had it then also in the 2012 uh, home shirt, and then in the 2014 away jersey, with the, um, you know, the Breton style uh, shirt. It is in there as well. You have the World Cup winning shirt, navy blue, it's in there there as well. It's basically everything funneled together in one jersey that looks good. It's a mish, it's a mixture jersey, a jersey that actually looks very cohesive and very French and very original. And then of course you have the old style cockerel crest, which I absolutely love. I'm not gonna talk bad about this about this jersey because it's really great. And what's even more is that on the back the pattern continues. This is a, a this is some, something I have been complaining about ever since they, they they got rid of that. I love it that we have the same pattern front and back. There's nothing bad I can say about this jersey other than no. There's nothing bad I can say about this jersey. Period. Ten stars. Argue with me below. It's the best jersey out there. Absolutely. Uh, the away jersey I also initially liked, but I have to say, uh, yeah, the big design is the French flag on the side, which I really like, but, and that uh, cockerel crest in dark blue actually pops nicely, and also names and numbers will show, but then it's just a Real Madrid jersey. A classic Real Madrid jersey. If, uh, if Nike would do Real, uh, Real Madrid, that would be a template for, this is how you make a Real Madrid jer jersey. Um, but it's not very exciting. But uh, there is something about it, that especially the French flag on the side, is something really, really nice. Uh, and while not necessarily original, it makes the jersey stand out a little bit more. Would have liked that maybe the French flag goes around the collar? Probably. Would, would have looked nice too. But I cannot say that this is as outstanding as the home jersey. I'm not uh, kid, 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 kid myself there. Um, and then a little bit the red is missing also. I I think maybe the numbers in red, maybe, maybe not. The numbers, not the name set, the numbers. Maybe not. 
I still, I, it's hard for me to dislike this one, uh, really. I know there are not much to it, but um, seven stars. France looking really, really good, I have to say. Portugal also, in theory, looking really, really good. First of all, we have green pants back. Yay! I was so happy to, to see that. I also, when the first shot I saw was a frontal shot. Collar, I love this type of collar on a soccer, jer uh, soccer jersey. It, 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 it takes me straight, straight back to the early 90s and it's all even further. It has a very classic feel to it. Sleeve cuffs, okay, it's maybe a little bit much. Side strapping, ee, does this fit? And so a jersey that I actually liked initially got a little bit funneled down to not so such a great look overall. And I am honestly thinking yeah, this is one that could have been better. I think it could have profited from not having the strap being broken up like with this uh, new Nike template, uh, but also having way less stripes. I mean, get rid of the black one and I think we are talking. The black one, I don't, I, that bothers me. I know it's in the crest in there, but it bothers me. It just does, does fit, uh, you know, get rid of one color, uh, make it black and green maybe. Or make it just green and red. I think green, 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 red. That would have been all fine. Uh, so that drops it down to me. Um, and so a, a jersey that I actually really liked reminds me a lot of the Roma fourteen fifteen jersey that I like as well. Um, yeah. Initially this was nine, and then I saw all these added features, and I'm going down, 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 down. Now I'm thinking six, seven. <sighs> Let's not to be harsh and let's uh, go ah, six. I really want to go six. Uh, Portugal then for the away jersey, they completely botched it for me. This is the ugliest jersey out there. And again, yeah, I get the mint. This is supposed to be mint green because, you know, you wore it at the Euros, but it's much, much, much lighter. But then again, the black, red, green and all over pattern. And while it's inverted that only the bottom strap goes around. Nah, this is... Fugly, absolutely fugly. I, I, there's only one jersey that competes in terms of ugliness, and I've been high on Nike for most of the time, but they have two real blunders at these Euros, uh, maybe a third or third, but uh, this Portugal jersey to me is an absolute blunder. I'm gonna give this one stars. The colors don't jive well together, it's too many colors on there, it's a pattern that is just way too much. I hate this jersey with a vengeance. One star. I'm not even feeling sorry about that. And then we come to this Hungary jersey. You see it here on me, you see it here on screen. Um, actually, I have to say, Adidas did actually a decent job with that. Yeah, huge sleeve cuffs you can see here. Uh, the pattern is supposedly the Danube. Northern Ireland has, 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 has a very similar one, so I'm not sure. But I take it, Danube, you know, uh, the Danube is running, uh, if I look down here, if I could, I would be looking right uh, towards the Danube. So that's a nice feature to me. Um, I really love that they have kind of the Hungarian flag in there, although I wish that the green was a little bit wider. Um, other than that, it's a very typical Hungary jersey. What, what would I expect from, from, from it? I really like the uh, national code, code of arms. It's replicated here. I am always wondering if that ball, and by the way, that soccer ball, this is, this is one that I can live with because it's like the old uh, style 30s, 50s one. I wonder if that Federation crest was colored a little bit, you know, give the soccer ball brown and then like here, uh, color the hill a little bit green, you know, add a little bit more, might just make it better. I actually do think so. Uh, it takes a little bit of life out there. Uh, it does, however, put the focus here where it should be. So I have to say that too. Uh, is it the super most exciting Adidas jersey ever? No. But it's a really decent effort and probably one of the better, better ones where Adidas came out with, with a template. I am going to give this um, seven stars. I, I do like do like it. It's nothing exceptional, but, but, but it's a really nice one. And, you know, if these are the Danube waves, so be it. I like it even more. Um, it also, you know, white names and numbers. Great there. Seven stars. I think I'm fine with that. And then the away jersey. Uh, yeah, the logo placement is a little, a little bit odd, like with Slovakia. So suddenly the Adidas logo moves uh, towards the right. And then you have the Federation crest in the center. And 
Yeah, um, I understand you have the top red and the, the bottom green, so you have the Hungarian flag kind of in there. I don't like the green sides here. That's a little bit too bold. Uh, it puts the emphasis a little bit too much towards the green and too little towards the red. To me, honestly, a Hungary away jersey should be white and then you have the flag across the chest. That is the perfect Hungary away jersey. This one, yeah, as I said, a little bit too much, too, too much green. And then why do you have the red on the sleeve cuffs? That also is a little bit. I mean, it's not a bad jersey. I like that there's all the national colors are on there. So uh, that's well, well done. I wish maybe even the stripes uh, would alternate, you know, have a green one in the middle. A little bit like what they did for France a long time ago, but Adidas doesn't do that anymore. Um, kind of add a little bit more in there. Um, but then again, I like the home jersey better. Uh, I really wanted to make a point. I wanted to get a red Hungary uh, jersey for me. Hungary should play always in red if they can. Um, it's not a bad one, but it's not an exciting one either. Six stars. And so we're through the group of death. France emerges as winners, at least by looks. Let's see what they will do on the field. But there were some nice and some really, really bad jerseys and it's quite some that, and a few that probably I don't quite understand in there. I want to know your opinion on these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up with everything that happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.